Hi everybody. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create the uh, globe, a desk globe. Uh, we'll create the, uh, the, well, the, the the map that you see here, but we'll also create the base for it in the holder. Okay. So uh, I like to start with a brand new file, and uh, it's always a good idea. And then we import we'll import this into the the uh, the room that we've been working on. So if you've already made the the globe, well, you could um, you just easily make it again. But I, like I said, I do like it to be in a new document. So I'm just going to create it. And this is what I did. I assigned new material. And I used a blend for this. And I checked the checker box here. We're going to choose File. And that uh, folder right there. And on my desktop, I have an Earth map. OK. So I have this. I'm going to move that up a little. OK, next. We need an image of the globe. And we're going to trace it exactly. So I'm going to bring in an image. We haven't done this before. Uh, but before I do, I want to make sure that I'm looking at either my front view or side view. So I'm looking not the top view. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to space bar up on this nice side view. Next, uh, as I said, we haven't done this before, but I'm going to come over to this little drop down menu here that's inside our scene. And I'm going to go to View, Image Plane, Import Image. And I have already downloaded the image of the globe. And this is the image that I'm going to work with. You're welcome to get it off of just Google Images. Just search for Desk Globe and you'll see it. So I'm going to open this up. Huh, pretty close. So you can see, uh, let me just move my sphere away. But you can see I have a plane. Uh, it's right here in my perspective view, but you can't see in the top view because it's thin, I'm looking top at it. can't see in the side view because I'm looking right down the side. But what I can, I can see it in this view. And right now I'm going to go object mode on my sphere, and I'm going to move it, move it there. And I'm going to scale it from the center in proportion until it fits my globe. I can look in this view too. Great. So there's a few parts to this desk globe. Uh, let's start with the base. Okay, so what I'm seeing are two shapes, this one and this one. Uh, so I'm going to uh, come to over to my view again that has the image. I'm going to get close. And I'm going to go to Create EP Curve Tool. We've used this before. And I'm going to trace half of this top piece here, you can see it doubles out a little bit down there. And I'm going to come around and only halfway. When I press enter, you'll see that better. See, I'm only tracing half of this shape. All right. Next, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to uh, my drop down, must be on surfaces if you're working with the EP curve tool. And then we're going to go to the drop down called surfaces and revolve. Okay, now it looks thicker than uh, what I wanted. So how can we fix that? Well, that's because the spline was created a little bit further away from the y-axis. The y-axis was here. So what I'll do is I'll be sure I'll, I'll select my spline. Maybe the best way to do is select it right there. You can see I'm selected on my spline only. You can barely see it. And I'm going to take my move tool. I'm going to move the spline. Oops. I'm going to move. Maybe I'll do it in this view so you can see a little better. I'm going to move the spline closer to the y-axis. So what we'll do is, how about we take the? So we don't have to do that next time. I'm going to take the image and select the little box in the corner of it, so we're selected on it. And I'm going to take my move tool. And I'm going to move this image so it's uh, so the middle of the y-axis is going right down the center. Okay. All right. I'll come back here. So I'll make sure that looks right. Okay. Next. Let's do the second piece. I'm going to take my edit or excuse me, create EP curve tool, and this piece here, I can start here. I am going to 
Oh, we want it to go straight across, so you know. I guess it doesn't matter though. It's gonna be underneath the plane. So I'm gonna kinda trace this here. And I'm gonna go all the way through the other shape, but stop at my Y axis and press enter. And let's go to surfaces revolve. And let's take a look at that. Okay, great. So there we go. Next, uh, there's a few other pieces here. And I think that can easily be done with a cylinder. So I'm just going to create a small cylinder for now. And let's see. Um, I will uh, go to my top view first, I think. I'll just kind of get it in position. It's going to be around here somewhere. And I'm going to look at a side view here or my front view. I'm going to move it over there. And let's get close so we can see. Nice and close. I'm going to scale it proportionally, bring it down, and then rotate it. Okay. That looks good. Right. The next one, it's almost a cylinder as well. So I'm going to take my move tool, get it ready, and Apple D or Command D to duplicate it because this is the one I'm going to use for this. It's already in place. I'm just going to scale it so it's taller and scale it proportionally from the center so it's a little bit thinner. And I'm going to move that right into place. Now you can see it has a little bit of a rounded edge. What if I want that? Well, if I go to poly the poly cylinder tab, well, unfortunately, uh, it's not showing up. So let me see. Let's see if I if I delete it and duplicate this one, do I get it? No, unfortunately, no. So, I tell you what. What we'll do is uh, we'll just have to create another cylinder. Okay, and right away, it's the top view. We'll move it over there and go into the side view and move it here. closer. Okay, so what I'm going to do, if I click on the tab over here, you can see now we have our options back, and I need a rounded end. So I'm going to do round cap. You can see it does round it, but not really. But if I bring up the subdivisions for the caps, now you can see uh, I've moved it to five. And you can see what I've got, a kind of like a, a capsule type of a shape. So now I can rotate that on this Y axis, or excuse me, on that the red axis there. And I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to get into this place and I'm going to scale it down. Okay. Looks good. I'm going to scale that some more then. It has to be thinner than the previous shape. and maybe a little longer too as it goes through the globe. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, you can see it's a little bit off, so I'm gonna move this. And this is something you can only see in your perspective. Oh, looks like I had a duplicate there. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So just like that. Okay, good. Next, uh, this piece here, or how about I take both of these and I'm going to Apple D and duplicate them. I'm going to move them up in the air and we'll put them over to where the other one was. Okay, great. Moving these into place. All right, let's create this piece now. And this will be very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a, uh, a tube. And I'm going to drag out a, a large tube. And then how wide should be, or how tall should it be? Well, it doesn't matter for now. 
and uh, maybe I'll just I'll do this in the so you can see it a little better. I'll do it in this view. So uh, here's my tube again. Here I got a tube, uh, you know, thin. Okay. And how wide? Well, you know, just take a look. For, maybe just like this for now. We can always change that later. I'm going to go to poly pipe, and I'm going to make sure that it has a few more axes. So. Uh, more divisions. So I'm going to go to have a 35. It makes it a little bit more rounded. Next, come up, um, well, we'll take our rotate tool because we know we're going to have to rotate it 90 degrees facing us. And how do you know when we're at 90 degrees? Well, I'm going to come up here, click on that tab, and you can see my rotated, you can see the number that's moved. I got it close. I got it to 80, negative 82. I'm going to go to negative 90 and type that in and press enter. Next, we'll move this into place. Uh, okay, maybe the best view to look at that would be this view here. And let's see, I'm going to put it in the center and then scale it up. From the center, scale. Okay, Let's go a little bit more. Okay. All right. And I think I'm going to Oh, to get back to my attributes editor, I'm going to click that again. You can see all my things are here. I can always change the thickness of the center. So what if that was 0.5? And maybe at this point I might want to go to this view. So you can see a little better. Okay, let me just put it sticking out a little bit. Alright, it's a little bit thick. So let's make this uh down thickness to 0.3, okay, maybe something like that. I'm also going to scale it down and look at that view for here. And we'll move it. Okay, we're pretty close. We'll just get close. All right, next there's some obviously some faces that we don't need. So I'm going to take my face, uh, face mode, hold down right click at the face mode here. And yeah, I'm going to take away and delete the ones that I'm not going to be using. Okay. And maybe I'll just get rid of these. Okay. But there's a hole that I've left. So to uh, fill in that hole, I'm going to go to the edge mode. I'm going to select an edge. And we need to be on the polygons drop down. I'm going to go to Mesh Fill Hole, and I'm going to go to the other one. Select an edge in edge mode, any one, Mesh Fill Hole. Okay, great. Now I can make sure, I can, I can move that just to be sure that it goes inside of uh, there. And what I'll do is I'm going to go back to Object Mode and maybe slide this into place. needs to be less thick, I can always scale, make it thinner, but it's not really looking good. Maybe I'll go to that face mode again, that front face there, and we're just going to kind of move that in. Okay, uh, let's look at the bottom part. It's a little bit short, but we can fix that. Select that face, and take your move tool, and just kind of move that in. Okay, now to get rid of the image, it's tough to select the image, it's weird, it doesn't select unless you drag a box in the corner of it. When you drag a box on the corner, with the selection tool, I can press delete. And there I am, I'm left with the sphere, I'm to move it a little bit more. I may have to fix a few things up, but you can see I might want to assign a material to this, and we're finished. Okay, so give this one a try guys, I'll see you soon. But from here, we would uh, save it and then go to your table with your desk that you have the other objects on. And we're going to go to File, Import. And then you'll be able to import this in and uh, everything will be good. Okay, thanks. Bye.